Hi there. If you're watching this video, odds are you're trying to figure out how to set up auto deposit for an RBC business account. I believe it's the same steps for the personal account. Um, this whole page here has been redesigned, so the steps that they outline in their help article don't exactly line up. So this is what you need to do. You need to scroll down on this page until you see pay bills and transfer funds. Now that you're here, on the right hand side of the page, see how it says here register for Interact e-transfer auto deposit? That's what you want to be doing. And now you have to follow the steps. So you can do up to 10 email addresses or mobile numbers for your business, um, which senders can use to deposit funds directly into the account you tell it without any need to log into online banking or answer a security question or anything like that. Typically, when the person's sending the money, they'll be told this person's set up for auto deposit, so they know that they don't have to set up a password or anything. So here you can see we have some auto deposit registrations. If I scroll down, this is how you register another email address or mobile number. You just enter in the information here and then select the account that you wish for it to go to and hit continue. So you'll have to confirm your auto deposit registration and they'll be told that this is where the money's being sent to. So make sure that the name on the business account that you're sending the money into makes sense. The service fee is now free. So there you go. I've got the green check mark. They've received my auto deposit registration request. So that email address is going to get an email shortly. And then you just have to follow the instructions in the email itself in order to do the auto deposit. If you don't see that email, check your spam or junk mail folder. So now here's the email that they actually have sent to say that they've received the request to set up this email address for auto deposit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on complete registration. It'll take a second to load. And then it'll confirm that I've now been registered. And if I go back into the bank account here and refresh this page, I can now see that the status is showing is registered. There you go. You have all the steps for that. If you decide that you no longer need one of these auto deposit registrations, you've gotten rid of that email address, or you've hired somebody else, um, go ahead and just click on the delete button. It'll come up with a message, are you sure you wanna do this? You hit confirm, and you've got your green check mark here. Your auto deposit registration has been deleted. If you liked what you saw here today, don't forget to click on the like button. That way we know which content is helping people the most. Um, and feel free to subscribe to get more helpful information on running your business online.